What's going on you guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna make a brush transition and we're gonna do that with the help of Affinity Photo. Of course, you can do this with any other type of drawing apps. It's just that I have Affinity Photo and I really, really like it. So that's what I'm going to use. But the same method works on any different type of uh, drawing apps basically because this is so, so simple. But one thing I want to say before we jump over to Affinity Photo to create this type of transition is that we finally launched the first LumaFusion intro template ever. So this is the first of many intros that is coming soon. And if you haven't seen the intro, take a look. So now that we got that out of the way, let's uh, jump over to uh, the iPad, uh, Affinity Photo, LumaFusion, and uh, let me show you how simple it is to create something like this. And this is just one of probably a billion types of transitions, brush transitions that you can make yourself. So let's get started. So once we move over to the iPad here, the first thing we're going to do is to open up Affinity Photo. Once we open up Affinity Photo, we're going to go on and select a new document. Here you can just tap on OK. So once we have the layer applied to Affinity Photo here, we're going to go on and we're going to change the color of this layer. And we're going to do that by going over to the fill tool, which is up here, and then over to color, which is here, and change the color to green. And once you change the color to green or any other color you want to use for this type of transition, it's all about keying it out afterwards. So the best suitable color for this transition is of course green. So once you selected green, double tap on the layer or tap a couple of times and it should be applied just like that. So once we've done that, we can go over to the brushes here and you can select the brush that you want to use. This is all individual, so you're gonna select the one that you like the most. It's also important to test a couple of brushes and try out which one is the perfect uh, kind of transition brush for you. So what I'm gonna do is to simply use, um, let's see here, which one is good to use. I can use a basic one. So let's just take this. I'm gonna do first a test. Looks perfect. Just gonna remove that by tapping on the stopwatch down here and select the flood fill above. And um, I'm gonna increase the size of it, the hardness of it. And I'm gonna test one more time. Maybe a little bit less hardness on it, like that. And now we can reset this again. So the way that you do this now is to zoom a little bit out like that. Now we go over to screen record and we put on screen record. And once we have screen record on, we're gonna start painting from this side or this side or this side or this side, doesn't matter which side you paint from, it's the way that you want to create your transitions. So the way we're gonna do this is now to first take the black brush and we're gonna brush with the black color over here and we're gonna take green afterwards, the same green, and paint green over the black one. So let me show you how this works. So screen record is on. We can uh, remove all the uh, buttons here on the layout by tapping on this. And we can start to brush. It's really important that you keep the layer above these uh, uh, numbers and the layout down here as well. So we're gonna take this and drag a little bit up like that. And we can start to brush. So I'm gonna start brushing like this. You can brush exactly how you want. You can make it bigger if you want to make it bigger or you can make it smaller if you want to make it smaller and last longer. So now we apply the black color. Then we're just going to go down to the color section here and we're going to choose a green. So we're going to take this up to 50% again and we're going to take the green color and we're going to color over. Just like that. So now we basically made the transition. This would have been a little bit better if we used a, a bigger brush. So we can go on and we can do that one more time. So we have the green 
background here now. We still have the screen record on and we can go over to the brush here and make it even bigger like that. Change the luminance down to zero and do it one more time. So now we have the black color, change the color back, back to green, 50% here, just like before, like that. And done. So now that you've done this, you can go out of the screen record and we can go over to Luma Fusion. So here we have our Luma Fusion project and we're gonna go over to videos and you can see that we have the screen record here. So you can tap on the screen record one time and you can find the point where you want the transition to uh, be or the, the transition that you want to use if you use uh, or if you make multiple transitions or multiple brushes within the same screen record. So once we have this on our timeline, we're gonna go to the point where right before the transition or the brush starts. So that would be here. I'm gonna make a cut and delete the part in front. And we're gonna go to the uh, point where the entire screen here is covered in black like that make another cut go forward in the timeline here and right before we start using the green like that and delete the one in the middle now we can go to the end here where the screen is covered with the green like that and delete the part after so now we have this transition coming in here and it's coming back here and being revealed. So if we put this on track number um, two here and uh, we import a clip underneath, let's see here, we can use uh, this one, we can place it here and we can make a cut right in the middle. Like that. And we can take this one, it's a little bit too slow this one right here and put next to it. So now we have this clip right here and we have this clip. So we need to key this out. So there's two ways of doing this. You can key this out and uh, you can keep it like this or you can first render these two here as one file. So we have one file complete with the green and the, uh, the black color here. The first thing I'm gonna do is to go into edit on the first one here and I'm gonna make sure that this is covering the entire screen like that. Uh, a little bit less, a little bit over to the left side like that. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna take this over to the next one and paste the effects. So now we have the transition like this. So the next thing we can do is to go over to edit on this one right here. We can go over to color and effects and we can add a green screen. So now we added a green screen and we can take the hue to, uh, to the indicated position here. We can take these two a little bit down and you still see that we have some green on the edge here. So the way that you can remove this and to make it super smooth is to go over now and add a Gaussian 5. So by adding a Gaussian 5, you will kind of blur out the edge of it and it will look a lot crispier. So now we have this coming in here. It's still a little bit of green in there. So let's see if we can remove that. Just take the brightness range up a tiny bit like that. And uh, we can copy this effect as well and just copy everything. And, uh, and we can take it over to the next one here and paste. So let's take a look at the transition. Simple but yet effective transition here. And uh, another thing you can do as well if the chroma key is not working for you is to simply go over to frame and fit and blending modes on the uh, recording here and you can change the blending mode to uh, uh, stencil luma and you will have the same effect and you can also use silhouette alpha maybe and uh, depending on the colors that you have but if you have if you do this with black and white you can use stencil luma you can use silhouette alpha and silhouette luma probably to uh, do the same type of king so now we just applied a blending mode to this and we still have the same effect 
So there you have the super simple brush transition and it's really, really simple to make. So with your creativity, your creative minds, you might be able to push this even further and make something which is 10 times better than what I created today. This was just to put you in the right direction and uh, just hope to see some of you using these type of transitions in the future for your videos, for your Instagram posts and, and so on. Just make sure to DM me on Instagram if you use any of, uh, of these effects that I make in, in these videos so I can check out and like your video and uh, if it's really dope, I might be able to share it as well, you know? And with that said, that's the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, if you're new to this channel and if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do that. That would be highly appreciated. So until next time, keep on creating dope stuff in LumaFusion. DM me on Instagram with your creations so I can check them out and see you in the next video. Peace.